Good evening. The government has suffered a major defeat over its controversial plans to cut tax credits. The House of Lords has tonight voted to delay the cuts, one of the government's key welfare reforms, which means it's unlikely the Chancellor will be able to make billions of pounds of savings from the welfare budget from next April. George Osborne now says he will look at new measures to help those who will be affected. Tax credits are benefits paid to top up the incomes of workers on low pay. The government is trying to reduce the tax credit bill by £4.4 billion, but opponents say the cuts as they stand would unfairly target low-income families. From Westminster, our political editor Laura Koonsberg reports. So why does George Osborne want to cut tax credits, a move that has been met with a growing sense of unease even from his own benches? And what options are still available to him now? Here's our economics editor, Robert Peston. A 16-year-old boy has been arrested in Northern Ireland in connection with the theft of customer data from TalkTalk in last week's cyber attack. The Metropolitan Police said the teenager had been detained at an address in County Antrim. Five Britons have died after their boat sank during a whale-watching expedition off the coast of Western Canada. Three of the dead were there on holiday. Two others were living in Canada. A teenager and a 76-year-old man were among the dead. The boat had been carrying 27 people when it sank near Tofino on Vancouver Island. One person is still missing. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning reports. Processed meat like bacon, sausages and salami can cause cancer. That's the conclusion of a report for the World Health Organization. It also found that red meat may well increase the risk of cancer. More than 20 experts from around the world looked at hundreds of studies. They say people who eat a lot of red or processed meat should consider adjusting their diets. Here's our health editor, Hugh Pym. Court has heard that the woman accused of murdering schoolgirl Becky Watts told police she felt sick when she found out that the teenager's body had been in her home. In police interviews shown to the jury, Shauna Hall said she was disgusted and angry when she was told her boyfriend, Nathan Matthews, had admitted to killing the 16-year-old. Shauna Hall and Nathan Matthews both deny murder. John Kay reports. The number of protests by anti-abortion campaigners in the UK appears to be on the rise. Confrontational tactics, which are widespread in America, are increasingly being used outside clinics in Britain by protesters who say they are defending what they call the vulnerable unborn.